Guys, I went digging for free plugins again, and man, I just found a gem that's gonna blow your mind. This free plugin is called Premiere Studio from Studio Plugins. They were so kind to sponsor this video. Thank you so much for that. In this plugin, you have access to an amazing file manager that you can use to access and manage all your files directly from within Premiere. This alone is something you can't get for free anywhere else. On top of that, you can get amazing transitions, text presets, graphics, effects, and even sound effects that you can import with the click of a button. But more about that later. First, this plugin is available for both Mac and PC. After downloading and installing, you can install the free Premiere Pro plugin with the Studio app. You can also download the free plugin of After Effects, by the way. If you want, you can add other packs to your library as well from within the Studio app. All right, now let's launch Premiere. You can open up the plugin by going to the Window menu on top and then Extensions. And here, you will find the Premiere Studio extension. Now, everything you have installed in your Studio app will appear right here in your packs list. But now the file manager. This is where the real gems are hidden. As you can see, I've created a lot of different folders in here. Inside these folders, I keep all my files, such as my videos, pictures, music, and sound effects. What you see here is literally my entire editing library that I can always access. No need to constantly import my files all the time. Also, take a look at these beautiful video previews. Simply select your clip you want to import and click on the Add button. Or even easier, just drag the file directly from the plugin into the timeline. Now the video will be imported into the timeline and inside your project. This will save you an insane amount of time. It allows you to keep all your files at one place where you can always access them. I just can't believe this is free and it will stay free forever. Now, to create a folder in here, simply click the new folder button and give it a name. For example, stock video assets or something. Then click on OK. Now, with that folder selected, you can create another folder inside site or you can directly import new files. To do that, click the new item button and import your clips. Now you can always access these video assets from this folder, no matter what project you're working on. Oh, and this is something I just can't live without. Take a look at this edit, for example. If I need music for my intro or this video, I just go to my music folder, video intros, and all the music in here will fit in the intro of this video. Now I don't need to go look for music, download it, import it, and all that time-consuming stuff. And look at these audio previews. You can play with the previews volume, scroll through it, and you can just drag it into the timeline like that. Now, I gotta warn you, once you downloaded this, there's no going back. If you get used to the file manager, and you will, you are hooked. I warned you. Now, of course, you can give all your favorite assets and files a star. Then when you enable the favorite button, File Manager will only show you your favorite files. I have a few assets that I use a lot in here, but it can be anything you want. Now, on top of this File Manager, you can also get some mind-blowing studio app packs that will help you level up your edits a lot. Let's take a look at these transitions, for example. The flat bounce transitions are incredible. All you need to do is select your favorite transition and click the Add button. Premiere Studio will then again import the transition into the timeline. And you don't need to worry about keyframes, effects, or anything like that. In the graphics and effects tab, I always use these animated backgrounds in my videos. They just look amazing, and combined with their text animations, you can get work done in seconds that would usually take hours to complete. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out this awesome sound effects library as well. This has literally everything you need. All right, next we're gonna learn how to create amazing transitions and save them as a template right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.